kids. It's Miss Sally and Ricky the raccoon and we're here to tell you another story from the Bible. And if you remember last week we talked about the very first story in the Bible. The very first book. That's right. Ricky remembers the name of the book. Genesis. That's right. You see inside of here are 66 smaller books and those books all tell of God's love for us and they start in Genesis and last week we talked about how God created the heaven and the earth he created the land and the sea the plants and the animals the moon and the Sun Adam and Eve he created Adam and Eve well I want to tell you another story today about Adam and Eve you see, God put Adam and Eve into that garden and he just told them one simple request. God said, I love you. I'm giving you this whole beautiful place to live and you can eat anything you want, any from any of the trees, any of the vegetables. Help yourself, except for one thing. I got this one tree right over here. Don't eat. Don't mess with it. Don't even touch it. Don't eat that pretty fruit. Well, every day God came, every evening God came and he talked to Adam and Eve in the garden. So one day Eve is wandering around the garden and there was a serpent in a tree and the serpent looks down at Eve and says can you eat from anything in this garden and Adam says Eve says well almost anything God said not to eat from that one tree but anything else we can have it the serpent said you know what? God's making that thing up about you're going to die from eating that fruit. He knows it's just going to make you smart. It's just going to make you know the difference between good and evil. Well, Eve took a look at that fruit and thought, that does look good. So she took that fruit and she took it to Adam and she said, you know, this fruit is pretty amazing. It came off that tree that we're not supposed to eat from. But I have it on good word from the serpent that it's not going to hurt us. Well, Adam and Eve, maybe he had to take time to think, but in the end, they ate from that tree. You know what happened? Oh, well, let me show you this picture up close because I just love this artist. Look, this is how the artist drew a picture of Adam and Eve and they made it look like an apple. I'm thinking it looked more like this luscious peach. I had one yesterday. I'm going to have another one today. They're juicy and good and I can't wait to eat it. Maybe like Adam and Eve. Well, they ate from that tree. And you know what happened? They didn't die. They did learn about good and evil. They knew that God gave them all that good garden to enjoy and to eat from. And they learned that evil is disobeying God. And they did that one evil thing. They did the one thing that was a, was a sin, that was disobedient to God. And that was they ate that fruit. So they really did understand good from evil that day. Well, every night, just like God would that night, God came to the garden and he was hanging out with, he was looking for Adam and Eve. Well, they had decided to hide. They were nervous about running into God again tonight. So they went and hid. Well, do you think they got away with that? No way. Of course not. God knew where they were. He knows where we 
are. He knows where everyone is. We can't fool God. God found them in the garden. And the first thing he said was, Adam, did you eat from that tree? Now, you know, God knew the answer to that question, but he asked it anyway. And you know what Adam said? Probably the same thing you've said when you've been disobedient. It's her fault. She made me do it. Did you ever say that? That's what he, Adam did. He blamed Eve. And Eve heard that from Adam and she said, it's not my fault. It was the serpent. He made me do it. Everybody wanted to blame somebody. Sins like that. We don't want to be responsible for our sins. Adam and Eve had to be punished. Even the serpent had to be punished. You know, time out kind of stuff, right? So the serpent, the Bible says that the serpent was turned into a snake crawling on the ground. And I guess he lost his ability to speak too because we don't have any serpents around today that can speak. And Adam and Eve then had to leave the garden. They couldn't be trusted with that tree. And it wasn't as nice after that. Instead of just being in a beautiful garden where they could just pick fruit and eat it whenever they wanted, they had to figure out how to farm and work for their food. Well, that's what sin is about. Sin has to be punished sometimes. And it should be. But remember those 66 books in the Bible? It didn't end when Adam and Eve sinned. That was just at the beginning. There are 65 more books. And there's all kinds of stories about people sinning. And also about forgiveness. You see, God didn't let it end there. He sent Jesus, and Jesus offers us forgiveness from our sins. All we have to do is ask, and we get forgiven. But remember that we don't want to sin. Let's watch what we do and, and try to be obedient to our parents and, and people in charge. And if that little voice in your head is telling you it's not a good idea to try it, listen to that little voice in your head because it might be coming from Jesus. Well, we're going to talk about more stories from this book because it doesn't end there. And I hope you'll pick up this, your Bible stories, books or your Bible and read from it this week and see more great stories of God's love and forgiveness for all people. I think we should pray about that. Father God, we thank you for this Bible. We thank you for the words in it that tell us about sin, but also tell us about Jesus and forgiveness. We ask that you give us understanding so we get how to be better people for you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, find your Bibles or your Bible story books if you're smaller and want to read it that way or have your parents read it. And keep reading past the Adam and Eve in that first sin. Keep going. You'll learn all about how Jesus came to earth and died and rose again so that God could offer us forgiveness for our sins. Have a great week. Bye. Oh, Ricky wants to say goodbye too. We're going to go make some brownies. Bye.